Oh, um, something I wanted to say quick. Uh, thank you to all of you new people here. I got a huge bump in subscribers. I want to, probably because of Pantastic Ladies, that's a Facebook group for people who pan. I'll have it linked down below. Um, but if you guys are new here, I'm Suzanne. If you're not new here, I'm still Suzanne. But, um, I think it's just, I, I mean, I do this for the community. So, you know, leave me comments because I love, you know, hearing what you guys think. If you're doing a one month, one, one month, one palette, I would love to watch those videos. And, uh... With that, I'm probably going to put this at the beginning of the video, so we're going to get into how I felt about the Boss Lady Beauty Agenda and introduce my palette for the month of February. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hello to you watching. So uh, this is the end of yet another month of using one palette, one month, and I'm about to introduce my new one. So. First, um, let me just uh, wrap up the Boss Lady Beauty Agenda. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. All right, so I, um, not sure how I'm going to organize this, but I, uh, in, with the, the palette, um, came a planner, and the planner had lots of uh, tutorials, one for each month actually. And I ended up ripping them out of the planner because I felt the planner was like too hard to handle. So instead I ripped them all out and I did all 12 of the looks this month. And I took little videos of myself after I finished doing the makeup. So um, I have those inserted somewhere in this video. Um, hopefully it's not too jittery but because I have those I'm gonna move right along so I enjoyed this palette it was fun um, a couple of the shades were uh, patchy or not patchy um, powdery like super powdery like I would dip my brush in and just whoo, kick up everywhere um, so here is what it looked like before And here's what it looks like now. Okay, so, whoops, this way. Okay, so, let me, so you can see I hit pan in snow day because that's just what I use to set my uh, eyeshadow primer. Um, and there are, you know, use dips in other ones. And I ended up using every color in this palette at least once. Um, I think... What was it? Santa's Helper, this black shimmery shade, I did only use once. Um, but, you know, it was fun. Um, it was this row. So, Spike Cider, I Want It All, and Faux Fur. So, that one, that one, and that one were all very powdery. Um, Iced Out didn't have a lot of color payoff. Uh, glittered is a much better silver glitter. Um... But yeah, I've been I've been really favoring Love Actually and Deck the Balls in my crease. Um, hopefully, you know, the clips I put in with all of the looks for the month, you know, looked look good. And now before I move on to introduce that in January. Okay, here is my first check-in with uh the January look from the Boss Lady Agenda. February? <laughs> anyway, February. But uh, this is my second look from the Boss Lady Beauty Agenda um, tutorials. So this is Love Struck, the February look. And it's freezing. All right. March. This is my second attempt at the March uh, Boss Lady Agenda Beauty Look. And you're probably sick of me talking about this Boss Lady Beauty Agenda, but yeah. 
This is, it's meant to be for March, so I mean, St. Patrick's Day with the green eyeshadow. I think it turned out pretty good. It definitely better than the first time I tried it. April. Okay, so another check-in. This is for the April look. And it's, I don't remember what it's called. May. May. Hello, so I wasn't able to record this right when I was done with my makeup because I was on a telecon, but this is the May look. I came, I saw, I contoured. Ugh, they're all three of the shades on my lid except for the eyeliner are shimmer shades and there was so much fallout. I probably should have used a glitter glue as a primer as opposed to just my regular primer. So I'll try it again and see what happens. Also, this is a cat. Look at the cat. Oh, hat there. Oh, hat there. I'm working from home today. June. Just a quick check-in. This is the um, June. I think it's June. Uh, hot chocolate look. Um, ooh, I went a little heavy-handed with the bronzer today, but. You can see it's a gold on the inner lash and silver on the outer lash and then a brown in the crease. Yeah, so this is the June look from the Boss Lady Beauty Agenda by Too Faced. Until next check-in. July. All right, so we're here for another check-in. This is the July look. So I just pulled in at work and I completely forgot to do my check-in this morning, so I'm doing it now. This is the August look. September. This is uh, the September look. So it's uh, plum pudding all over the lid and into the crease. And then give me some more uh, in the outer corner up into the crease and black tie along the lash line. Oh, and I um, patted a little plum pudding on my lips because this was a pink lipstick and I made it not pink. So it went better with the eyes. October. November. I'm also sitting in my car right before going into work. So, um, it's a gold on the outer and inner corner and then a pink shimmer in the center with a dark brown in the crease. So, I know I have the sun like blaring on my face and look at the, look at the highlight. Ooh, all right, bye. December, this is the December look from the Boss Lady Beauty Agenda. Not as loud and punchy, but very glittery. And yeah, um, right. One more thing I wanna add about these. Um, there were misprints in the little tutorial things, like specifically uh, on the February one, instead of blend, it says bland. Yeah, on the September one. They spell, will you marry, like the name of the blush, will you marry me, incorrectly. Um, so, I think that it's just my critique of Too Faced, like, hey, you know, maybe pay attention to your palettes a little bit more, especially when you're misspelling shades that are in your palettes. So, okay, that's all I have to say about um, the Boss Lady Beauty Agenda my pen, uh, my one month one palette for January. So this isn't an official look using the Boss Lady Beauty Agenda, but I'm really happy with how it turned out, so I wanted to share. It's um, pine cone in the inner and outer corners and sleigh bells as the highlight in the center. And then, oh, what's in the crease? I think Deck the Malls is in the crease. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And this is my birthday look. So, to introduce my palette for February, 
Now, this one, I literally kept changing. Like, I could not decide on one palette. Like, I kept like, oh, I was gonna do this one, uh, but no, I changed my mind and I was gonna do this one, and then no, I was gonna do this one. Well, after changing it three separate times and being like, all right, you know, I just gotta leave it up to the random number gods. I Googled my random number generator and, you know, put in the numbers of all the palettes I have. And I let Google pick what the palette was going to be for the month of February. And Google picked, if I can get it out, the Lorac, ooh, wow, ah, there you go. The Lorac Beauty and the Beast palette. Um, So it's got 16 shades, and I've only used it a little bit. I used it um, soon after I got it, so you can see there's a little bit of use, like like you can see it on that one. Um, but yeah, so for, yeah. One, two, four, there are four shades I definitely haven't touched yet in this palette. And so this will be my palette for um february and yeah that's all so here we go thanks for watching